Hello everybody. Ah, here we are with another sunshine video. So what's happening here? I'm a bit paranoid about making videos in my own backyard. I'm like, what will the neighbors think? What will the neighbors think? And <sighs> I don't care what they'll think, <laughs> really. Uh, what I'd like to present is this piece of wood. <laughs> something about pieces of wood on this channel you know you got wood you got uh, <laughs> everything you need <laughs> all you need is wood um notice that the piece of wood has two sides the dark side and the light side right now i was thinking <sighs> a dude that i know a sort of friend or somewhere between friend and client um showed me that uh, he he busted down a door in anger and I was thinking about this concept as I was carving and I was busting doors down with my axe and the firewood in here and I was thinking like what could happen with such a door like if this is the door side that you're seeing and you get angry and you smash it you know rah, you go like this this is obviously something annoying in your life not necessarily the door probably I mean usually it's not the physical door but something about work memories something about the cycles that that we're all looping in it can become annoying repetitive i know they have for me like a lot like i want to if this weren't a tree i'd be likely to smash this oh so much rage man so much rage and anger but okay this is what this video is all about um so if this is the happy vibes okay like if we can say take a brush or a knife or something and carve this with happy thoughts like oh my god this is awesome super awesome day it's fantastic wonderful amazing right now this would be the flip side because some days we do have the bullshit situation happening you know and i think the act of breaking open the door is symbolically a thing that's like like this is the painted side that somebody else painted see i didn't paint this it was painted like this it came like this it's raw in a sense now if i break it and i flip to this and here first of all i see what's naturally there it wasn't painted this is as it is whatever texture or worms or whatever is here uh, i'll see it as it is and now this part is more receptive to being worked with it's more flexible it's like this one i would have to sand down i would have to do things it's somebody else like maybe if i painted it, it would have been nicer i would have cared for it more i wouldn't uh, look to break it but if somebody else painted it this is just stock standard factory stuff nobody cares about now What, what popped in my mind was this coin, okay? This, this coin that had a golden side on, on one side and a dark black sinister wormy thing on the other side, okay? So it's two sides of the, of the same coin. Like this would, you could say is like a square rectangular coin, a rectangular coin, right? It's just not round. We could cut it into a round and then it would be a, a more standard coin. And I'm saying that in a sense we're all like this and we do this thing where we really like looking at the at the lighter side okay whatever whichever side is that we prefer we like looking at it. oh this is beautiful it's fantastic oh amazing now whichever side we're not paying attention to and maybe others aren't paying attention to it can really easily start to grow mold and worms and cockroaches and nasty insects and what have you and the point is that you, you don't know, I don't know, like, how bad is it, if it's bad at all. Maybe it, there's some epic compound that developed there that the cockroaches and worms put together and it evolved into some new species of glowing mutant uh, worm that when you eat, it gives you psychedelic visions, you know, I'm just saying here. So, until we look to see what's happening, we don't know what's there okay we do not know what's there now when we look or if we have this concept that hey when i this is my space and when i come home uh, home angry 
I can put it on the dark side. And when I come home uh, happy, I can put it on the light side. If I have some kind of structure, maybe I have other functions for this here as well, for the edges. But if I have some kind of structure, then we know what to do with the anger. You know, we know what to do with the rage. It's like, oh, you're a piece of shit. That, that my whole life is a piece of shit. Okay, I'll, I'll draw and I'll paint here about the piece of shit life that I'm having. And more often than not, than not um, we start to notice that uh, there's some kind of value in that. Because if we have this here, that's <clears throat> drawn and painted or carved with all our hatred and trauma and whatever. Um, when somebody sees it, they will feel a resonance. Whatever part of themselves they, they aren't putting out and expressing, they, they will also have something like this, but internally unexpressed. And when they see it, you know, everybody's trying to do this. And then somebody shows maybe both sides. <laughs> Here, I have this. On the on one hand, I'm the super amazing being that does all these fancy things with visions and colors and Photoshop and whatever. Um, and I can do pressure point and energy work and whatever. On the other hand, I'm a lazy bum. And maybe I live with my parents. And maybe I'm freeloading and I feel like a piece of shit about it. And... I haven't found ways smart enough to move out yet, or I did, but I've been corrupted and annoyed by this and that situation, and it didn't work out, and I feel frustrated, so here it is. This is my frustration about living in the place that I do, or the country that I do. I wish I were, right now, true story, I wish I were in uh, Costa Rica or Peru or somewhere with medicine, plants, and tropical epic fruits and sandy beaches and I could just live off my epic massage skills and pressure point work and all that stuff and I haven't brought all my ducks in a row together <clears throat> for years now to get enough money for a plane ticket just like you know super epic wizard can do all kinds of things can cure phobias can uh, cure ADHD anxiety stuff uh, what, what have you <clears throat> cannot amass money for a plane ticket to go where the fun is okay this is right here now what do i do i mean i can lie about it but can't really lie to myself about it it's there every day and that's the point i think that's what a lot of people call anxiety oh my god i'm, I'm having anxiety no you're not having anxiety you're trying to look at just this one you're blocking your breath so that just this is visible because you know that if you if you really put pedal to the metal with all your body all your energy then you will things will start to spin and whoosh, 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 everything will become visible and you will see that you have some percentage of yourself that's a complete bum it's uh, if you think in terms of a neural network some of it is shining is well put together is fantastic really well optimized excellent right you have excellence in a number of fields and some other areas your occipital whatever connection is more in bomb mode it's either too aggressively firing or it's not firing enough it's it's somewhere out of range of the optimal signals like it's either too high signals noisy uh, uncoordinated or too low signals more like depressive and blah, it's not not enough juice and it's a bitch to solve those sometimes but it is solvable, it is doable if you look at it. You know exactly what color, what kind of issues you have, how long, like uh, you know the, the total span of the problem or at least the estimated span and you can figure it out that it maybe it's a month of work, maybe it's a six months or a week or whatever it is and it's fixable. But what if you're afla afraid to look for five years? You're afraid to do this, you're afraid, it's right there if you just looked like just sat down and put in a couple of hours of meditation or something or, or drawing from the imagination which will will generally lead into that direction eventually what if you're afraid to look what if you never give yourself the time for five years or ten years or, or all your life to do this well then um as the dark side that's uncared for untended to becomes greater and greater or you don't give attention to a sort of as a way of going out of proportion 
it starts to cover this as well. So now you have to cover, you have to sort of do smaller and smaller, you know, uh, portions of attention to yourself because the rest is like this. And you don't want to see it because, oh my God, what if you find out that three quarters of yourself is messed up? Uh, what else did I want to say? That this is, this thing, the darkness, it's like the, it's like the soil. And you don't have to transform all the soil molecule by molecule into something else. You just have to find um, the right seed. Okay, it's just you put the right seed and the, the seed does the rest. The right idea. You have sometimes the right organization, the right people that know how to work with precisely what kind of soil you have. Um, right, so you might think to yourself, my soil, my raw matter is too acidic. But you're thinking in terms of your own seeds, your own plants, okay? Somebody that's growing cacti or aloe vera or something completely different, plants that you are maybe not aware of, symbolically, will see the soil super acidic and they'll be like, wow, this is the best cactus soil in, growing soil in existence. Like, give me a couple of tons of that stuff. Like, just go into your, your crazy mole, wild man, wild girl thing and pull the like give me that stuff sell it to me by the shovel okay this is how people i guess fall in love or find couples and when when they find somebody that's compatible enough so their seeds are compatible with our soil and our seeds are compatible with their soil okay so then if that works we can work we can work together in a business in a in a couple in whatever it is so why am i saying all this why am i doing all these things to myself <laughs> and to you um, I just saw the broken down door today, okay, a couple of fists through the door, which actually approve of, if, especially if it's your door, it's like, it, it, it's, it's really good to hit things. But I disagree with the idea that it's a broken door, that I broke the door. You didn't bro break the door. You started a, pro a process that reveals what's behind the door, what's inside the door, what the door is made of. You can basically turn, and my advice was take these pieces of the door and paint something. Sl start doing collage with them and start making something. Because don't treat your punching the door as an error. It's not an error. It's the first strike of a great carving. It's the first punch stroke of what will later be an interesting painting, no doubt, if you keep at it. Um, Alan Watts says, uh, or maybe he's quoting this himself, I don't know, but... Uh, it goes, the fool that persists in his folly becomes wise. And I've seen this to be the case in, for myself, like a lot, a lot. And I can only recommend this recipe. Like, do whatever you're doing, punch the door if you need to punch the door. And then later, revisit. Revisit the, the area of the punched door. See specifically what led up to it. What, how did you get so frustrated? Oh, like this. Okay. Then you know, hey, these are my buttons. I, I must find a way to make business or love life or romance work without these buttons getting triggered. <laughs> if somebody comes around, I must put up a sign and a boundary and say, hey, these are my buttons. You push these, you are out and we are done. You don't or you help me fix them or something. We're friends and I'll help you fix some of yours. Um... And as for the broken down door, that is always basically blank canvas of some kind. It is not a broken door. Um, and this is what I wanted to get at. That the way we word things, or in magical terms, the way we spell things, can restrict our possibilities or expand them. If you think in terms of a broken door, then best thing you can do is replace a door get a new door maybe in a couple of months you break that down too because it looks it looks the same like the old one but if you think as wow raw material i've just turned the door <laughs> the finished product which i didn't like um into raw material that can now become something now that is something actually there is something because you don't know what can happen one example is you, you take the door pieces and 
you post about it. You find some crazy groups that you're part of and you, you post it. Hey dudes, I broke down my door and these are the pieces of it. These are the, the cardboard or whatever wood doors are made of in the States. Um, these are the pieces. What do you see in the weird crack outline? I saw an Aztec idol, like a, a thing that's to be made for good luck and, and prosperity, golden idol. Somebody else will see something else. You can get the conversation going. Um, so, I guess I'm saying... <clears throat> Break more stuff, like just dare to break stuff that, that isn't working for you. Break it, break it down. Just, you know, test it. <laughs> see how, see what happens, okay? Just, <sighs> or find, when you're outside, find broken stuff that, that's just broken stuff to other people. But if you train this, this way of thinking, for yourself, um, you will start to see a lot more resources where other people see just garbage. Okay, and uh, I guess on an end note, if you think at how mushrooms do it, their job starts when to us it's pretty much game over, right? A cow takes a shit, and to us it's just ew, <sighs> right? Or a, a tree falls down it starts rotting and drying up and it's done well for a mushroom it's like opportunity hello there hello there magnesium and selenium and whatever's in the cow dung and the, the wood of the tree um, let's see what can happen here and as you might know if you've ever played with mushrooms a lot can happen here like some of the best things on the planet can actually happen here, right here, starting from the, the bullshit. Not the bullshit itself, mind you, not the raw, unprocessed part of it. But I guess the question is, like with the mushrooms, what can a hyper-intelligent life form do with something like this, with very limited resources? Again, answer is generally a lot. And this, I would say, when we break down doors and turn them into crap, is the first step into becoming those hyper-advanced intelligent beings. Because um, painting on canvas, you're just repeating what somebody else did. A process, like, like you know, it's, it's standard. Painting on a door you've just broken down, or carving it into something that's workable or looking nice for you, that's a different matter altogether you're now deviating from the standard, you know, the, the basic approach of life. Like, you're not supposed to break down doors that are functional and all that to make Aztec idols out of them. Says everybody, says the mainstream. But I say, and I think many others, other things on, on this in this universe will tell you Maybe that's a good idea. Maybe try it out. Especially if you've broken the door already. Now the game is on. It's already on. You're, you're on the path, right? You've broken down some doors. So take pride in it. And a challenge would be, if you can put this, if this side is the failures thing, if this side is the I'm proud of the shit thing, my challenge is, if you've broken down some doors, some relationships, some marriages, some jobs, some internal organs you might have had, like kidneys and liver and alcohol and all that, um, the easy way is to just bitch about it, like this. Oh my god, I did this, I'm horrible, I'm a horrible person, and I suck and I'm ashamed. Fine. But realize that as you analyze this, there will be parts of it that you can put here. You know, there's, there's a sort of story that goes like this, that connects everything. And this... Oh, I like where this video is going. So there's there's a way to connect all of these together in one network. You know, I broke the door so that this guy made this video. Uh, I didn't get it at first, but I got it on the second viewing or whatever. And then I made this, this, and this, and this. And then it all caught up in flames. And then I made this, this, and this. You see what I'm saying? It The looping, the, the game itself, it never stops, right? I've been to all kinds of strange places 
which would be this, all kinds of amazing travels. And then I ca came back home thinking in my head that it would be a decent idea. And now I'm sort of, I'm not stuck here, but I've been stuck here for quite a while. And then I did some more travels and then some more stuck at home and some travels and stuck at home and travels and stuck at home. So as soon as this pattern, this larger 3D patterns, uh, pattern becomes visible, we now become aware who we've been. Like we can actually get this, this bird's eye view of the whole past 10 years or 15 years or 20 years or uh, whatever we want to look at. So yeah, this is my exploration of what can be done with a piece of wood like this, a magic coin, plata, <laughs> to, <laughs> um, yeah, share some thoughts, comments, ask questions, call me a bastard, that's fine. <laughs>